Oh, now I can walk back there. Alright, now let's use this key. Hey, Max, come here. What? Watch this. Well, this is undignified. Oh, boy! Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. It's a hope chest. I hope it's a big closet. Trixie's a big girl. It's a hope chest. I hope it's filled with more gold than my poor eyes can stand. It's a scorecard from the Gator Golf Emporium in Roomy Eyes, Florida. New location. It's a hope chest. Hey, there's a neat costume in here. Rule one of point-and-click adventure games. If it's not nailed down, take it. If it's nailed down, find the uh, solve the puzzle for removing the nails. Ooh, they're genuine Scrantonese potions of fertility. Let's take them. I don't think we should risk being any more fertile than we already are, Max. What does fertile mean? Alright, we have stolen everything we need from here. Alright, now... I remember it. Let's try down here. Yeah, this is Florida. What is it? It looks like a couple of snakes! Everything looks like a couple of snakes to you. That's a little grabby arm thing with out the arm. He's repulsive, but I can't take my eyes off of him. He's not my type. Alligators and golfing together. It's brilliant. I ain't it? Wish I thought of it. Fact is, this place used to be a miniature golf course. Then, back in 89, the swamp flooded the whole shooting match, windmills and all. Next thing I knew, I had a half-submerged miniature golf course crawling with ten-foot-long gators. I hate when that happens. Tell me about it. So I turned the golf course into a driving range. Do you know what this thing is? That used to be my golf ball retriever. One of the gators bit the hand clean off it. Until I get my new one, I have to get the golf balls out of the water manually. Isn't that dangerous? Take a look. What do you think of Conroy Bumpus? Conroy Bumpus? He's my idol. I've named all my kids and pets after him. I built a beer can shrine to him in the garage. I live for the day when I can meet him in person. Why uh, do you ask? Uh, no reason. So what kind of handicap does your average Bigfoot have? Bigfoot? Don't get me started about Bigfoot. I used to have a Bigfoot. He was my star attraction. I'm beginning to sense a theme here. I kept him fed and sheltered, and how does he repay me? In tens and twenties? 
No, he ran away. Did he have help? Well, someone must have given him that there acetylene torch to cut through his protective ankle wear. <laughs> protective ankle wear? Okay, shackles. Hmm, I've got an inexplicable urge to buy some suitcases. Don't even joke about it, city boy. Don't go anywhere. Where would I go? Max, let's go. And the proprietor has no idea what happened to his Bigfoot? That's what he said, Mr. Bumpus. You know, Lee Harvey, I'm beginning to think that vast unseen forces are aligned against my quest for a Bigfoot. Ditto. Ditto? <sighs> hey, look it! It's those two, uh, what was that word, Sam? Misanthropes? Yeah, misanthropes! What are you, anyway, the president of the hair club for short people? This is Mr. Conroy Bumpus, famed country and western star. I'd suggest you show him some respect. Yeah, well, he looks like a lounge lizard to me. And I'll bet his scalp itches from that bad rug. Maybe you should watch yourself, little furball. Yeah, well, I've got more hair on my fuzzy little butt than you do on that hollow country head of yours. Okay, I've had enough. Nobody makes fun of my hair. We can take him. Hold still, you flea bitten pole cat. Here you go, boss. No animals were harmed in the filming of this game. What a jerk. It's a nice five iron, though. Get me the hell out of here! Nah. Oh, nice knowing you, Max. I hear a far off rumble. Yeah, this this makes all the sense, right? That's how produce is delivered. It's a bracket right? of fish. Thing nobody's manning the station. Okay, I guess we need Max. Also, this is cute. I'm scared, Sam. Golfing mini game? Nah. Fishing mini game. Yeah, yeah, can't dunk me. Hey, get me the hell out of here. Oh, 
And luckily, it is kind on you and does not require you to, like... Uh, like any other golfing game where you've got to, like, do, like, measurements of distance and stuff like that. Oops. I think I've got a lot of fish. Oh. No fish were harmed in the filming of this game. As far as you know. See what I'm doing? touch the um, the monkey head back there is taken directly from Monkey Island 1. across the driving range. Jeez, that certainly took long enough. Shut up, Max. I hate that game. Is that because you're a lousy golfer? You're an irritable bunny today, aren't you? Yeah, well, why don't you try sitting in this smelly booth while I beat the hell out of helpless fish? Maybe I should just leave you there. Did I mention what a lousy golfer you were? <laughs> Whee! Hey, knock it off! Okay... Hey, Sam! Hey, what? I found another sample of Sasquatch fur in mange in the booth while I spent my young life waiting, just sitting there in that horrible booth, waiting. Jeez, Max, get ketchup. over it. Okay, here, you carry it. I'd better. I'm not sure where you'd put it. That's none of your business, Sam. Yeah, advice to give to everybody that uh, is traumatized or having anxiety, get over it. Yeah, um, try that and see how well it works. Let's see, what's this? It's a snow globe from the Mystery Vortex in scenic Goldwump, Washington. Let me see. Take a look. It's in a book. Too bad it's empty or we could shake it. Like this? Just look at that yeah. graphics. What's that writing on the bottom of the globe? 
to Elmo the Bigfoot. Keep on trucking, Shavuul the Mole Man. Hey, maybe Shavuul's at the Mystery Vortex. Let's go there before I'm distracted by something. Yeah, let's go find Shovel. Or, I mean, Shavuul. I can't talk to that. Alright, um... Oh, that's right. Let's go over to another Snuckies. Hey, nice hat. We all get one when we graduate Snucky U. But enough about me. What can I do for you? Do you know anything about Bigfoots? Only what I read in the weekly International Evening Inquirer Star. Anything else? Nothing. You have no idea how often I hear that. I don't know why there isn't a in-game hint to this, but I wonder if you could open hey, this jar. Hey, can you open this for me? Sure. Ain't a jar made I can't open. Uh, let's see. This thing's missing the handle. Is that a hand? <coughs> that is a big ball of twine. He looks like my 8th grade English teacher, but with more warmth. Fun facts about the world's largest ball of twine. If laid out from end to end, the ball would stretch from here to the far side of Jupiter. Also, scientists theorize that by 2053, the sheer weight of the ball will push the Earth out of its orbit, propelling our planet on a collision course with the Sun. Good thing my life expectancy is only six years. Way to take the short view, little buddy. According to the plaque, this is a shaving from the first foot of the ball of twine. I didn't know it was old enough to shave. It's a 1 200,000 scale model of the actual ball of twine. And it's only 1 200,000 as stupid as the actual ball of twine. Ah, uh, well, let me take it. Let me guess, your suit is entirely made of twine. Actually, I'm the docent of this here museum. Now, what can I do for you? You haven't seen an eight-foot-tall woodland creature answering to the name of Bruno around here, have you? Are you talking about Bruno the Bigfoot? Yeah. He and a bunch of other Bigfoots helped build the ball of twine back in 56. Why, the stories I could tell. No! I've heard enough stories today. Have you seen Bruno recently? I haven't seen Bruno in 30 or so years. Is he in trouble? That depends on your definition. I like to use the one that involves spiny echidna. Well, is there anything else I can help you with? What's with all the fish guts flying past the window? Those are leftovers from our last fish delivery. Our famous rotating restaurant has fresh fish flown in every day from the world of fish in Mosquitoville, Missouri. Has Conroy Bumpus passed through here? Who is that? 
He's a country western star gone berserk with power. I wouldn't know him if I saw him. I don't get out much. Okay, Boomer. This ball isn't really made from a continuous piece of twine, is it? Uh, yep, it's the longest piece of twine in the world by 92 yards. That'll be all for now. So that hints that there are other ones out there. I can't cut off a piece of twine in the middle. That would destroy its status as the biggest ball of twine in the world. Oh, well. Let's just see what we can find inside. Well, that was useless. Yeah, sort of like those tax forms we keep finding in our mailbox. Oh, but wait. There was something that looked magnetic in it. That was wholesome. Not to mention physically improbable. What do you mean? Chances of perfectly deciding uh, exactly where to put that in? And the downside of this is that everyone walks so slow. Take a leg, Max. Whee! Look at those stunning 3D graphics. Hey, look! That's one long loose end. Too bad we can't reach it from this side of the deck. You always need a large piece of string in games like this. Never go adventuring without string. It's a conveniently located pair of mounted binoculars. And the downside of having that in a rotating platform. I'm sure this is somehow useful, but I'll be damned if I know how. Let's see. It's an empty snow globe without a stopper. Okay. I uh, don't need to be here yet. I can't pick that up. Alright, and... It won't let me skip. Thank you all for watching. You're welcome to come see me record these episodes live at twitch.tv slash superbunnybun. You can also come say hi on Twitter at superbunnybun. But most importantly, I'd really appreciate it if you could like yourself, comment about how awesome you are, and subscribe to Happy Thoughts. And I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Bye!